Absolutely. So you're tracking rain throughout the area? Yes, kind we do have. Normal for Florida. Yeah, kind of that summertime weather pattern right now with some scattered rain showers and thunderstorms. Here's one thunderstorm right here uh, outside of Lakeland. Look at this shot right here, this thunderstorm just to the south of town. You can see uh, some of those dark, ominous looking clouds with some heavy downpours. None of these are severe. We do have a couple stronger ones with some gusty winds, some heavy downpours and some lightning like we've seen the last couple of days. Here's the temperatures right now, 90 in Lakeland. So rain shower doesn't sound too bad to cool down those temperatures a little bit more. But that feels like temperature sitting at 90. 93 degrees. Here's that radar and satellite. You can see where some of that activity is right now towards the Tampa Bay area here at the station. We just had a heavy downpour just a couple seconds ago. Here's a couple of those showers we were just looking at south of Lakeland and there's more activity towards some of our southern counties. Hardy, DeSoto, Highlands County also seeing some scattered rain showers and thunderstorms. But here's uh, some of those heavier rain showers in the Tampa Bay area lifting off to the north. You have some towards Riverview too. Uh, Fort Meade also picking up one of those rain showers and storms further down to the south. Port Charlotte, you're seeing that too. Lake Placid, you're seeing some heavier downpours Arcadia. You just have one just off to your east there, so it's scattered. You're going to get a heavier downpour here and there. The further south you live, the higher the rain chances are going to be for the rest of this evening. Now let's switch gears and talk about the next couple of days and what's heading our way right here. This is potential tropical cyclone one. We've been talking about invest 91 L for the last couple of days. The National Hurricane Center has now changed it from an invest to a potential tropical cyclone. That doesn't mean that this is a really strong, massive system. All that means is now it's potentially going to develop into a tropical cyclone, and we're going to track it as it works towards Florida. And now, because they switched the name of it, uh, they can now change and issue watches and warnings, and the cone track that we normally see for tropical systems can now be issued. And that's what we're looking at right here. The center of the system is just over the northern parts of the Yucatan Peninsula. There is Cancun. Uh, by tomorrow morning, potentially turning into a tropical depression, and then lifting off to the north and east. And notice here we are Friday evening and into Saturday morning, a low end tropical storm. A tropical storm, you need winds over 39 miles per hour. So we're not seeing a significantly strong system, but a weak tropical storm to make landfall potentially for southwest Florida by later in the day, Saturday into Saturday night. The biggest threat with this system is going to be heavy rainfall. Yes, it's going to bring some breezy winds. We could see an isolated spin up tornado like we see with some of these tropical systems, but the heavy rainfall, it's going to be widespread, mainly just south of our area, but uh, the National Hurricane Center already issuing uh, some tropical storm watches. Uh, that is from a longboat key all the way down to the south uh, towards Key West is where those watches are being issued and all the way over uh, towards eastern parts of the Florida coast. Now we also do have flood watches too, where that's the heavy rainfall that we're expecting. Could see several inches of rainfall for some of our southern counties. So let's track this 